Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have something a uh, little strange, but it is related to the channel, I promise. Um, so, I'm going on vacation in just a few days, I'm going to be away from my computer, but I still need to edit videos for you guys, so as, you know, part of the reason um, I got this was for that. This is the Microsoft Surface Go, it's their new Surface computer, and I mainly got it because of the size. Um, if you've checked out my videos, you probably know that I carry a nutsack bag satchel, um, the small version which this is, you know, perfectly fittable and however the larger Surface Pros or a 12 inch laptop, something like that won't fit in there. So the main reason I got this is the size. And this is just going to be a quick unboxing. Um, I don't have the keyboard cover for it yet. I've ordered it. It is coming in today, but FedEx decided, hey, let's put the keyboard cover and the Surface on two different trucks in two different cities and then deliver them to you. So that was fantastic of them. Um, this is the box. It's, you know, fairly plain, um, kind of a dark gray trim around that, if that matters at all to you. It's a, you know, decent box. Um, this is the 8 gigabyte of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD version. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. I won't bore you too much with technical specs. And I don't normally don't do anything technology related um, on my channel. And I think it's, oh, by the way, this is the... Um, Silent Thunder Ordnance Scalpel Dashi, which is really kind of cool. I'll have a review coming up with that soon. But um, I don't do anything tech-related on my channel, mainly because I work with computer stuff, like in IT. So I I think part of the reason I like doing the channel so much is that it's, it's very analog, and it kind of gets me out of that, you know, work mindset. Um, but I do deal with computers every single day, and I'm... Um, fairly experienced with them. I'm not the best at them, but, you know, not terrible either. So, let's see. Okay, so the box feels pretty nice. Um, it's a little dinged up. I don't really care. It's a, it's a box, but, you know. It's fit on there pretty tight, and this is fairly durable cardboard, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't be too worried about this in shipping or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, so here it is, the Surface Go. This is, now I've tried this out in store. I didn't just, you know, randomly decide, hey, let's let's buy this computer that I've never tried before. So we'll set that aside and take a look at what it comes with real quick. Um, so little instruction booklet, I'm assuming. I'm not going to bother to open it because no one reads this. And here we have what I'm assuming is the charging cable. Yeah. So this is actually fairly small for a, uh, like a laptop style thing, um, fairly light too, and it does charge using the Surface Connect. It can also charge over USB Type-C though, which is perfect because my phone actually charges with USB Type-C as well. I have the LG V30. I, if you have not tried uh, the LG V line, check them out because their their phones are fantastic. Um, some of them have, have certain hiccups, like I had a, a G4 that boot looped, but it, out of all the phone manufacturers that I've tried, um, LG's you know, my personal favorite. And I hate iOS, so I don't mess with Apple stuff. Um, but that's a rant for another day. But um, it has this awful plastic on here, which is extremely loud. I apologize for that. I will compress that audio later, so you don't have to deal with that loud noise that I just had to deal with. So um, it's a very, very nice little computer. This is a 10-inch screen. And it's um, magnesium alloy. There is some plastic up here just for Wi-Fi antennas and things like that. And the um, LTE model will also use that space. Um, it has a kickstand as well, which is kind of the uh, signature thing of the uh, Surface line. So if you're like an artist or something, you can kick it all the way back and draw on there. It does come with a pen, or it doesn't come with a pen. There's an optional pen you can buy. Um, yeah, it's it's fairly well made. Um, very durable. Again, I've tried this out a few times in store. So let me get this thing charged up a little bit, turned on, play with it for a little while, and then I'll come back. Alright, um, I'm back. It's been mm, about 20 hours or so since I started playing with this. Um, my type cover did come in. It is the blue Alcantara version. It's more of like a really, it's a really subtle blue-gray, very, very soft material. Um, I think the price is a bit ridiculous on it, but we'll worry about that when the review comes. Um... I've I found it quite useful to be honest in the short time I've been using it. I know it's a bit difficult for y'all to see here, but I'll at least get to where you can see the screen. So go ahead and turn it on. 
Windows Hello works, works very, very well in the time I've had with it. But um, it's it's fairly snappy. I can open up, you know, whatever I need to. I've taken this out of uh, Windows S mode, which it ships in. Um, I actually had to update the Windows Store before I could do that swap, so that was weird. But it's not too bad. Um, you, you can launch stuff. It's a little slow on startup of some apps, but once you get there, it works, you know, just fine. Like, I can open up YouTube, and it, you know, runs about as fast as my other computers on the network. <clears throat> Might take a second to load some stuff. And one thing I found interesting um, is I, I do have some games installed through Steam on here, but I can also just stream them from my desktop, which I didn't I didn't know. Um, so that was that was cool. But yeah. Um, so I can just do everything fairly normally. Um, you know, I haven't really had any issues with it at all. Of course, this is nowhere near a full review. It's not even close. I'm gonna have this thing and carry it around for a few months before I do that. Just like everything else that I work with. So this is going to be from an EDC perspective of me carrying this and using it constantly. Um, the hinge is very, very useful. I'll say that. And I haven't had any issues with the laptop really, or tablet, whatever you want to call it. Um, the keyboard does have backlighting, which I personally guarantee you cannot see right now, which is fine, but it works very well in the dark. So build quality overall is really nice. Um, the price is mm, pretty good. Um, the reason I actually picked this up is there's nothing in this size range that can fit in my bag that is this powerful. Granted, this is not super powerful, but it's enough for what I need it for. And um, it works fairly well. I've been able to run some like 2D Metroidvania games on it, stuff like that. Just fine. Um, I haven't, you know, haven't been disappointed with it so far, which is kind of what I'm waiting for. Um, the only thing that really bugs me at the moment is that the keyboard doesn't really come with it, which is kind of frustrating because you kind of need this to protect the screen. Um, it's also, you know, extremely useful to have a keyboard and a trackpad. And it's a very nice keyboard, very nice trackpad, very nice cover, but I, it, it should be coming with it. Let's just be honest here. But yeah, um, so that's the, you know, unboxing, a general overview, a couple hours worth of analysis. Haven't noticed any issues with it. It's a little slower than my current computer that I'm using, which is an i3. Um, gosh, it's the Skylake version. Um, I will be switching it out though to a Ryzen 1600 uh, in not too long. But that's so once I get everything swapped out on that might be when I go to review this, because this is more of an, a companion device for me to my main computer. So it's, it's not meant to do a ton. Yeah, um, there's a quick overview. If there's anything you guys want to know specifically, I know I don't do tech stuff on this channel. There's a reason for that. But this is something that I'm going to be carrying every day in my bag, with my knives, with my pens, and it's going to be used about as much. So if there's anything you want to you know, see ran on here that doesn't cost a fortune, or if I already have some programs that I'm sure I could run, or games or whatever, um, it's not really meant to run anything intensive. Just keep that in mind if you're looking at this. But yeah, I'll have a review coming out in a few months. It won't be like the reviews that you're seeing now. Um, as far as I know, people got these last Monday. So if you're seeing any reviews, it's from about a week or two. Um, that's not enough time for me to count it as a review. But, you know, it's up to them. And see, so yeah, I'm going to use this for a few months. I'll probably have a review for you guys by December or January. Maybe I'll try to get out before Christmas that way. Um if you, you know, celebrate the holidays or any sort of, you know, gift giving around that time, you might be able to pick one of these up. But um, thanks for watching. If, like I said, if there's anything you want to see ran on here or you have any questions about it at all, just let me know. And I'll be more than happy to uh, answer those in the comment or post individual videos if you guys want to see that. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.